Hello. Why is there? Why is there? Is my mic quality okay? You were like right on time, huh? Hi, Aggie. Um. Yeah, like something ain't quite right with my um with my mic, right? Like there's a uh... hmm. I'm gonna fix the <coughs> Why is it going E? Why is it going E? Why is it going E? Sorry for the echo, but I'm gonna have to uh Sorry for the echo, but I'm gonna have to uh like I have to hear myself. Are you using? Sir, I had unhired. Please let me let me choose. Also, I'm gonna like scoot the sub goal away from, from things. Uh Oh yeah, I think it might be uh it might be using my my webcam's uh audio input. Let's see. How's this? Is any better? Has it has it improved? Nope. Let me, uh, I am messing with it. Device. 
please, three USB audio codec. Because, like, it's also catching, like, my fucking mouth noises. Also catching, like, there we go. Mouth noises. Ah, wah, wah. There we go. Mouth noises. Ah, wah, wah. There we go. Ah, wah, wah, wah. All right. Now let me just drop the link in places. Such as Connie. Connie Town. Infinite Connie Town. Pro. And uh, in Brompton, and I think. Uh, 50,000 years ago, though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every just... species in Citadel space. Go grab some water. Over 2,000 years space. ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered something never seen before or since, a species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, the Rachni were not peaceful and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their homeworld, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Hmm. After the Geths secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. <laughs> the cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Thresher moths are subterranean <laughs> carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a thresher never entirely leaves the ground. Only the head and tentacles erupt from the Earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, Threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. The Alliance first encountered Threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry Threshers, and nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging Threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. All right. That is enough lore. Let's go and... Uh, let's go and do this fucking side quest. Where are we? Argos Row? Why are we still here? 
here? <laughs> I may have to check my journal in a moment. I think the game may have warped a little bit. And I crawled up with the journal. Huh. No. I guess I just forgot the location we were in. Huh. Huh. Oh, right. I also need to go home to, like, uh, to the moon. Seven out of ten of these. Three out of seven. Ooh, we're done with gases. League medallions. Sparta system. Oh, okay. Huh. Huh. All right. Let's uh, let's kill these people first. Uh, these these robot people. Gotta killerize these gats. Apparently, there's like additional software that I can buy in the coming months, perhaps, to improve the whole tracking thing. Get like more access. Surely this isn't the whole thing, right? Like, this seems very dimensional. So it's slapped together. I'm not very expressive on that kind of thing. Or maybe I need to have my model editor or something. Or look into more tutorials for advanced functions or whatnot. Either way, this is only the start, and I shall be an adorable puppy in, in, in the future. I'm already a cute puppy, but I'll be cuter. You know what I mean, shut up. Don't, don't think about my words too hard. Let's hack from some, some, some magnesium. a short-ish stream as well. I'm gonna say like about two hours is what I'm gonna aim for. And then... I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards. Possibly more book club. Possibly just nap time. Who knows? Would technically be the responsible thing to do to go to bed early. Cause on Tuesday I have an early morning doctor appointment. And I figure if I go to bed early today, then it's gonna be easier to sort of like gently shift my sleep schedule. Ah! 
fell off the mountain. aren't quite as paper to say. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Just out of the fucking sky. Just fucking dropping that on me. Let's quick save. Let's be intelligent about this. And uh, we are pointing in pretty much in the right direction. Yeah. Ah. We did a thing wrong ish. I think. Uh, God, driving and talking is difficult. <laughs> okay, ancient Debris, where are you? Oh, there it is. There's a thing we gotta fix. The the blip and the smile need to be put together in the same. I I gotta fix that. I can do that by myself. Ugh. These are two disparate brain trains. I cannot be riding them both at once. I'm a fool for attempting to do it. Let's just play Mass Effect. <laughs> Skull. Oh, that is an odd skull. This massive skull is scored by deflected mass uh, accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your hard suit computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Is this like a reference to something? Is this like a, a, a noticeable alien that anyone knows from like a different media or something? Eh, whatevs. Because I didn't say poop, isn't it? Boop, boop, boop. Ah, never mind. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, again. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And now I believe we are done.
Oh, my brain is still fuzzy from trying to think at two things that's at once. That are only sort of tangentially related. <laughs> still have like business to attend to on the citadel. I can't be forgetting that. Be strong, be strong for mother. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, yes, Ooh, very yes. Yes, how oh, no. now let's not overshoot. No, 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 no. Success! Whew. Important driving noises. Boop, boop, boop. What? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Help! I hate the terrain. I guess we may have to drive around the rim on this crater. Oh, I am so afraid of falling into the big pit. I don't want to lose my altitude. It's gonna be a bitch to get back. Worst planet. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we got? Boop, 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 boop. Eh. Nope. And then anomalous signal.
anomalous signal, surrounded by hostiles. anymore. The Get Array is transmitting regular data bursts on an encrypted channel using the Alliance's own, the Alliance's own FTL combuis. It is not clear where the data is being directed, nor the content of the signal. Well, can't be anything nice. Wigglin! Hello! I am Wigglin. I'm a puppy dog. Do not mind me. It's uh, it's in a, it's in a sort of prototype stage. I'll figure out how to make it properly transparent yet, and how to do expressions and whatnot. For now, it just kind of makes educated guesses based on what my face is doing. You. It was made by, uh, by my friend Pinball. Or I guess it was made by Ironic Soap. I should probably put a credit um, in, the, in the profile. I gotta remember to do that. It's, uh, it's based on the soap cap from Ironic Soap. And my friend Pinball made it into a soap dog. Can only recommend it. The creator is very nice. I wrote to them, I asked them if it was cool if I used this as a VTuber, and they were like, yeah, sure, so long as I have plates, which I do. Oh, that's a Crimson's gift from my friend Cat. <laughs> Soap Cat is a cat from a person named Soap. I don't think the cats have actually, like, any actual thing to do with Soap. Look at my fucking masterful driving. I think I should be given all the car licenses. I need a drawing of myself at a steering wheel going like, I know what I'm doing. Who let this puppy dog drive? built in.
All right, now there's going to be another aerial colossus in there. Oh, drop shit. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to uh This thing drives so good. I also got my friends mixed up earlier, I think. Thanks, the guy these streams are dedicated to. Pinball's the guy who do the, the avatars and stuff. <laughs> the goose. This game has two squad members to choose from. Now this is a plan of more to my liking. Gentle pills at most. Oh boy, these guys are like super, super dead. The vehicle and the human corpses show the telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Maw. At least they caught what was coming to them. So it was like a chain of events. Ruin. Oh, 
Fortunately, the Protheans uh, also relied heavily on, on the universal leapfrog style of encryption, which as we all know is the best and most impervious type. <laughs> Just barely squeezed by there. Big oversight on the guest card. Guardian system. I feel like this stream we're probably gonna just be doing side stuff mostly, given that we've already been at it for like most of an hour.
I think the thing about the expressions, um, I, I already had to set what expressions it's gonna make, right? Like what it's gonna look like when I make an I, and whatnot, the vowels and whatnot. And uh, during that process, I already noticed, um, I guess soap cats are maybe like a little too round and cartoonish to properly translate into the C face which is like ostensibly made for anime avatars like I just have too much of a snoot <sighs> my lines are too thick cuz uh I had I had to have a very gentle touch about it. I couldn't go I couldn't put any of the sliders to max or else it would just like like even just a third of the way towards maximum it would just start reaching out. You would see way too many on my teeth. And you may have noticed every time I blink, you can, uh, I guess, maybe, maybe I'm too small for y'all to see it in the corner. But every time I blink uh, on the big picture, I guess you can see the original eyebrows that this avatar has. The little round uh, nubbins on the forehead. But I'll get around to fix an all of that in good time. It's 
going to be full of husks, isn't it? Uh, nasty. Well, nothing for it. Let's quick save. Alright. Kavu? Anybody here? Ah, there it is. Mm. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop. Anybody here? Kavu? Mr. Husk? Oh, there they So far, so easy. Perimeter secured. Shut up, Garrus. You're gonna fucking. You're gonna jinx it. Some bullet. What? What? Oh god! I didn't know they could open doors. Take all of these. Oh lord. Take all of those. And this, and that. Oh, yes! Hmm. You know what? Let's put that on five. Back up. All targets down. Rip. Garris, you can't just say that. That's not good. That's not healthy. You say these things and the universe listens in. And the universe is like, you know what? No nice things for you. Fuck you. Don't predict me. Don't god mod. What? Who knew? It was a trap! I expect one of these outposts to be the main base of operations for this incursion. Hold up. This receiver is picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. 
It must be a message from the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out. Yay! Why did we leave the car for this conversation? <laughs> got that, got that. There's an anomaly left. Everybody gets a little concussion. Another medallion. Who the fuck keeps Just messaging me? Way. Stop. Good. Leave this house. My phone keeps vibrating. Within this star cluster. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we land on the moon now. Time to kill a bunch of robots. A bunch of ostensibly evil robots. Yeah, it's a secret. I 
little box. Beep beep. Boop, boop, boop. Have we like finished with the? Yeah, yeah. Artifacts. Yeah, I think. I think we have all the writings, right? Like it's it's gone from the from the quests that are active. Huh. Who'd have thought? God, that's a lot of them again. Resources. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Oh. Just you and I, Mako. You and I and Garrus and Rex were probably like in the back throwing up. Extremely skilled at driving. Am I even going the right way? Yes. Done with its cluster. 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 Now, bud. All your friends are dead. 
and you're gonna spend your last couple moments being run over repeatedly and also shot in the butt. It's good being a good guy. I love being the good guys. Come on. Stop crawling away sideways. There we go. As the last geth falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, wobbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recording the recorded song is dispatched to the geth home geth worlds behind the Perseus Vale. The transmitter shuts down. And stay down. Huh. Good guy moments. Definitely didn't kill these people, like, for no reason. Definitely they were 100% up to bad things here. Everybody knows all Geth are the same. As are all Krogan, as are all Turians. Each species has one personality in it. <laughs> you discover a number of encrypted de Geth data files. In the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Oh no! Was I supposed to have Tali with me for this? I guess I can still, like, give it to her. I just hope she's happy. I am waiting. What are we waiting for? Should I... Should I be staying? Did I miss something? You said wait. Wait for what? Am I... Sh should I... I guess I can return if necessary. <laughs> uh. 
hell? Well, I'm gonna go talk to Tali about it. bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Well, you could give me a little kissy. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find I mean... him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. That was well, kind of the plan. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Hell yeah. So long, Rex. You are tough and a sure. loner. Not a feeling in that stone cold heart of yours. Nor in that stone cold other heart of yours. Shepard, I need to talk to you. Nor it's in important. that stone cold third heart of yours. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? 
Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return mm -hmm. is what you already have. Mm -hmm. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Hell yeah. We are good people. The best. Looking for supplies? Am Let's I? see what you got. You bet, Commander. Let's see what you have. Not really anything. Let me just uh, sell off that that low tier junk. Fucking level three and four and five and six. Baby stuff for infants. For losers. For nerds. <laughs> People who die on missions. You know what? If those two had new things to say, maybe Liara has to. Hey, Chucky. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command. But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Mm, I guess not. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Nothing we've not already talked about. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Ba, 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 ba. Bark, 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 bark. Wait, I didn't mean to take this lift. No. Dinga Yernal. Gareth, who is in the Citadel Tower. We have data disk. We have these. We have those. The Sparta system. Oh, right, 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 right. So we just need to, like, turn two things in. Uh, Message from Admiral Hackett, saying? Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this Sam, mission. Your food is so stinky. How can I understand it? You have two things to turn in at the Citadel. Um. One thing in the Hawking Eater cluster. Oh, that's over there. Well, first let's go to the Citadel real quick. A little side trip. Man, we're seeing that place more often than we thought we would. Huh? Yummy. You are so soft. You have such fluffy cheeks. Yeah. I really can't skip this, huh? I've seen it. I've seen it. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, 
I just want to disembark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fanny! Just full. Oi! You need to become more aware of the outer boundaries of your body. pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Must be hard for you, Garrus. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian Spectre. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people not loving the Turians. Mouse. Citadel Tower, there we go. Hey girl. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. Jenny! I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Capitalism. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Oh, well, she seems honest. <laughs> Rear no, Admiral. I'm waiting to speak. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, mm -hmm. I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Yay. This will not have any further repercussions. Now we gotta find the other guy who's in the tower. 
Which is a... Uh, that's a vague location to give me, isn't it? Like, where in the tower? No one's being highlighted. That's a fortunate feature, though. Like, I, I, I'm I, glad. Be ridiculous. Nabolus won't be joining the council for years. There he is. He's okay. No, he's not. I'm on a break. No, you're not. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Okay, bye. Now that that's out of the way... Why are you just sitting there? You, uh, you good? I guess you need to take a break once in a while too, huh? Now... There were... Traffic control thingies somewhere here. I believe it was this way. Wait, actually, yeah, everything's nice and labeled. There we go. Hmm. Whoa, was that hackable? No, that was just fucking Garrus getting in the way again. God damn it, you useless husband. Turn to her. Oh my god. Yes, I'll do that. I have second sprint. getting readings this is gonna make a great story thank you so much for your help here this is everything I've got for my publisher's budget it was no problem good luck with your story it deserves to be heard I appreciate your support I hope this will save some lives in the long run thanks again for your help I'm gonna show this to my publisher okay bye I'm a hero Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. And away we go. Stand by, sure. No, I'm not gonna be scanned. Contamination in progress. Everybody else can be decontaminated. I wanna keep my cooties. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Exo Presley ain't gonna be long for this world. <laughs> Save me. Okay, we 
did that one, if I recall. Now we go to six theta. Message from commander just came in over a secure oh, channel. Oh, shut the fuck up, Hackett. This oh, is Admiral Goku. Goku. I found out who set that trap in my head. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last... Oh, you went to the me. left. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. I mean, I, I guess scooting to my left headset cup is is a good first start. <laughs> Did that happen for y'all as well, or was that just on my end? That's it. One point of interest. Huh. This is such a cool fucking planet. Look at that. I want to build like a little hut here. I want this to be my vacation home for when I'm feeling desolate and melancholic. And you know who could describe this well? My friend Cat. Cat always wrote very cool words. Cat, Cat is like a, a little bit of an artsy kind of nerd. Somewhat of a writer too, which uh, I am famously not. I've never written a word in my life. Oh, it's probably going to be getting me. And a boop, 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 boop. More of her writings. What the fuck was that? Sorry, what? Were we not in agreement that you were gonna settle somewhere no one was gonna find you? Fucking stutter, girl. Ah, 
Oh well. Yeah, that was a weird sound, right? Couple dead guys. Everybody and their fucking mom has Rachni apparently. What are these? I don't trust them. Weird meat objects. Commander, you see this? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Ragni worked fast. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Ragni didn't come from nowhere. Checking. This base is supplied by drone freighters. Dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Let's get this over with. Somebody needs an ass kicking. Whoever it is, we'll find them there. Right. The Ratna infestation on Altahe seems to be the result of a supply drop from Argus Row. The logs downloaded from the freighter should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Don't worry, I'll get you. Mm -hmm. Wet wear. Get little schmeat things. Awful. Not a fan. Kinda spooky actually. I've never seen these before. I think they might be like legendary edition. Whoop whoop. Uh whoop. Whoop whoop whoop. I got stuck. Whoop whoop whoop. Sloppy. What do we got? Rail extension. Ah. And you? Combat scanner four. You are combat scanner seven. Sledgehammer on f six or eight. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Let's try them. Shotgun. Armageddon. Oh, the hum is straight up just better than all of them. <laughs> oh, but grenade mod. This is high explosive seven. What if 
this instead. And a boop boop. And a boop boop. And a boop boop. to have will be mine I was gonna say, aren't we lucky that Argos was where we're going anyway? Yay! Rosie and Data Discs. I don't think we even have a quest on this planet. I don't recall anything ever sending us here. This is just pure exploration, I guess. For now. Anomaly. game that's like all about going to these planets, these Mass Effect planets, and like turning them into garden worlds. It's gonna be like a- oh! It appears these particle bores were shut down after breaking through into tunnels just below the surface. The shacks and equipment are stenciled with the logo of the Tenikara Mining Consortium, but there is no trace of the mining crew. Sammy? Hey! Yeah! Uh-huh! Doing illegal stuff again, are we? I saw you. Mm-hmm. Don't meow at me so innocently. You thought I was too distracted, huh? What? Who allowed you to make noises, Mountain? You're a mountain. You don't even have vocal cords. Oh, 
Now in a more modern game, I would actually go and explore and see if I can't find the source of the sound. But this is Mass Effect 1. It's gonna be like purely atmospheric. I'm gonna go there and there's gonna be like nothing. I'll just get stuck behind a mountain. Skillful driving. Oh. Palladium. Almost got caught. Let's see. Wait. Now, what manner of hostile awaits? Survivors! Aren't you happy? Good thing I showed up, huh? I think these mounds are new. Like, I think they didn't use to crawl out of mounds. You got any extra ammo, ma'am? First Lieutenant Durand, ma'am. Third Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment. And I am damn glad to see you. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. Yeah, it could. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than lichen. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them. You take us out, too. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... We don't have time to explain. Are you secure here? What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye, aye, Commander. You heard the woman. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants a smoke, it's as good a time as any. Hmm. How would I get these defenses operational? Oh, generator. And the beep. Defense of turrets inoperative. It would be possible to power the turrets off the Marcos engine, but this would make it impossible to drive or fire the Marcos own 
weapons. Eh. We can handle them with our normal gunfire. Get moving. Well, yeah, I would like to. You must die. You must die. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we're taking the turn to it. All right. Good luck, everybody out here. Assignments. It's probably the time I was requesting assistance. Yeah, yeah. Stick data cluster. I did though. Am I supposed to just like stay here? I'm, I'm gonna fight up one more. I'm gonna fight one more wave off with them and see. Like she says she'll hold, but how true is that? They are taking pretty decent chunks out of the health. Man, that's a lot of them. Are we sure they come in waves? Are we sure there isn't just like an infinite amount of Rachni coming out of these holes now?
see now there's not a timer anymore. Hey, girl. I will destroy you! Okay. Holy hell, ma'am. Talk about a near-run thing. You all right? I'm pissed off. When I get pissed off, I shoot things. Find me more bugs. Around here, they're more likely to find you. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right, that must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Yay! Yes. I will destroy you! Man, she's fired up, huh? Let's see. We've done that, 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 that. There we go. Rack mine. That's it. Mine. Why you are here at me? Honestly, I don't remember this quest chain at all being like this. They really spiced it up with the legendary edition. <laughs> you can get stuck on the orange blocks. It's ridiculous. Beep boop. There we go. Alright, time to murder some more bugs. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't realize Ragnarok could reproduce without a queen. Like, I didn't know they could have, like, nests and all that. All patched up. Alright, now, where are the boys? Finally, some action! Whoa! Oh no! I thought this died for us. Only you had kept your fucking mouth shut, Rex. A little bigger than you 
Bonjour. Hello. I'm ready. Damn, we are chewing through some uh, some med kits here. It is banana flavored. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Shout out to Laffy Taffy for valiantly trying to fucking poison me. Why are you at the front? Why does it have biotics? Records of the Rachni War suggest brood warriors, the male gendered Rachni, only fight when a hive is severely pressed. It's safe to say you've eliminated the Rachni on Netmos. Oi. Boop, 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 boop. We did a good thing. I hope we get good boy points for it. Garrus has chosen to continue playing dead. He's just staying on the floor, he's good. Now to find the exit. Oh, there we go. There wasn't even another type of Ragni back then, I don't think. Like, all the Ragni in Mass Effect 1 were, like, either the workers or the, the warriors. Nothing about brood warriors. Now, there's debris over there, but debris is mostly just loot, I'm pretty sure, so... In the interest of getting things along a little bit... Let's go and uh, head straight for that anomaly. Might this be? There we go. A medallion. And a whole bunch of money. Back to space? I guess Argo's role was Master's not where we were already going. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Etta cluster. 
He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Yay. Time to resolve a situation with diplomacy. Nipples. Oh. Bush is the fucking woman. Call for you? What? Why do they do this? been at this for two hours. Oh my god, you're shitting me! I hate these things so much. I figure I'll wrap up this, uh, this planet and then, then we can do the rest tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. It's not like I have had a huge audience sitting like, on the edge of the seats to watch me play this. So maybe, maybe we'll do a little impromptu one tomorrow. But it's mostly just you. You, and sometimes Van. Do not do that. I guess the other day it was art as well. Like my my regulars show up whenever. They just they just like if I launch the stream, a couple of y'all will always drop in and I love that. I love that part, y'all. You're nice. I haven't actually looked at the viewer count though, so for all I know, maybe I have like 
a thousand million billion uh, secret lurkers. Just like people who aren't in chat that I'm not actively aware of. And if you're out there and you're one of those, hi, my name is Legion. I love you. Probably. I don't actually know you, that's not... Actually, come to think of it, I can't make that promise. But, I bet you're nice. And I hope you're having a wonderful time. <laughs> All right, let's see. The front of the rover is crumpled from impact. A glance inside tells you that the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrows left by his tires, silent in the near vacuum atmosphere. Wow, that's a cheerful discovery. Now this ancient Debris. An insignia! Normal fucking terrain. Normal, regular landscapes. The way that landscapes are supposed to go and work. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot. And now, the actual reason we're here. Jack, do we have gold? We do have gold. Boop, boop. Beep. Pop, pop. Man, I wish gold wasn't like the standard for wealth. It's a pretty material, right? Like, I would like something made of gold, something like some, some, some jewelry or some such. Hmm. But it's also just. That is the money metal. Like, I don't want it to be fancy, I just want it because I like it pretty. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away! protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. 
Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Okay. Orokin, if they allowed their stuff Mother to get Kyle's dirty. Mother Kyle's humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up with those other soldiers. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. Man, Father Kyle's talking a lot, huh? Talking a lot of smack for a man sitting in a fucking hovel. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. Nobody cares about us biotics. We have to look out for you. Just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. Man, you're like a cool super powered guy. What do you mean you're not being treated fairly? Like you literally, you can bend reality with your brain. Like who has the I power? I am Dr. Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure, please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait! If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. You shall return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Yeah, yeah. All in a day's work. Mm, yes. I'm Commander Shepard. And I'm a good dog. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. Oh, that guy's a nutsack. Back to the Normandy. Up the ghost Gormandy. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed, Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. 
Congratulations. That's because I didn't get smeared into a paste yet. Post paste shepherd is gonna be a renegade. Evil and fucked up shepherd. Argos roll. Let's let's position ourselves so we know where we went wanted to go. Cancel, uh, not cancel. I'm gonna finish the stream. Let's see who we're gonna invade here. Uh, you know what? My friend Roxy, <laughs> with my one viewer, <laughs> it's just you and me, <laughs> All right, we're gonna. <laughs> She's gonna like it anyway. Cavern. Off. Remember. Friends. She's gonna be happy to see you. Let's uh let's let's you and I go <laughs> and say hi to Roxy and then I will go and be a book club and whatnot. See y'all around.